FBB family. What is going on? One more time now. FBB family. What is going on? Man, oh man, I miss, miss, miss y'all. But open the it's my fault. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I gotta give y'all everything. Y'all, it's way past due. Uh, what's going on in my career? What I'm driving? What's on my head? What's this on my on my on my um, seatbelt? Gotta hit a car. All right. So, your boy, what I'm whipping? Dodge Durango RT 2015 fully loaded. Yes, I know it's 2024. I got this car with like 55,000 miles. Everything's still working. Everything good. Back seats didn't even get touched. My daughter, the only one really been in the back seats. So she been rocking with the movies and videos. I got the TVs. I got the HD going on. You know, Blu-ray disc. Uh, man, career-wise, I'm in Texas now. Killeen, Texas. I'm in the cleanest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the cleanest brother in my fraternity. <laughs> I joined the military fraternity, y'all. I know people don't know about it. In military Greek letter organizations, MGLOs, military sororities, they are they are out there. I'm telling I'm, I'm making the world know that there is multiple options if you are in the military to join a military fraternity and it will not stop you from joining the divine nine i am looking into divine nine in due time it does require you know school work a degree and it requires money 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 so time to go alive i gotta put a little more rank on my chest um career wise i was at i came to for cavazos um, I started at Battalion, my Command Sergeant Major, which is like, you'll say, you know, a big, uh, one of my big leaders, you know, say, hey, I want uh, the individuals around you and the, the team to go down to the company level, to go down one, but to learn more and to help the soldiers directly. I was doing that for three or four months. Um, I went to what's called NTC, uh, National Training Center, and I believe I did a great job. I want to say this as well before I continue. Uh, what, I, what I'm saying, you know, what, what goes on is not a reflection of the Army or the military in any sense. I'm not going to say nothing crazy or bad. I'm not going to do nothing bad, but I want to say it now. That way, you know what I'm saying, when I'm speaking, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for other people in, in different places around the world and none, nobody in that nature. I'm speaking for myself, how my career is going, what I got going on, how did I get into my positions, how did I keep, and how I keep on moving forward, how I keep being positive and great things keep happening. For example, I just got one on a coin today. So uh, I'm definitely honored by that. The, the, the battalion commander, She's leaving, and I only, I only know her for a short amount of time, but she definitely said I bring great energy, and she's proud of, you know, how much I bring to the team. So that's one thing. But back to it. So, battalion, company, then I moved up to brigade. Thank you for the opportunity. I've only, only been in the Army for one year now, and four months. Yeah, one year, four months officially yesterday yep one year four months so one year four months in a day and i have been progressing good i've been showing improvement i've been showing the hunger um i'm, I'm really i really really like it you know a lot of people tell me i can do the 20 i just say one day at a time you know what i'm saying i just got to get there slowly but surely what else been going on um i did something called a spur ride so i'm in a cab unit where uh, we have to earn our spurs and I want to try to do the history on this. I don't want to break it down too much, but make a long story short I put in I Put in some good leg work to get my spurs and I'm proud of it. I rock it. I got uh, 
my hat as well. Or um, I'm trying to think of the name, having a brain fart. But I got my cowboy hat in a sense. So I got my hat. I got my spurs. And I'm proud of that as well. achieving her goals she's doing what she wanted to do she, she told me what she wanted to do I told her hey, all, I, all, I'm, all I'm gonna do is as your as your man is just work hard to put you in a position that you want to be in so you can execute I feel like I achieved that and I'm proud of that uh, daughter she's in school she's learning a lot she's uh, I feel way ahead of her peers individuals around her around her age she's only two years old full of conversations uh can drink out of bottles can can do things that you know will require her to be maybe a little bit older maybe have a little more knowledge my daughter really does like speak to me you know we have conversations you know what i'm saying and i'll be like do this she's like no dad dad it's cool but you know what i'm saying i, I like that because she's learning herself she's learning rights from wrongs learning a lot of things so that's amazing I'm gonna try to stop with the um stuff. I don't be liking that when I hear some other people do it. Nonetheless, uh, I'm talking about my fraternity a little bit. You know, part of the elite Psi Delta Tau Military Fraternity Incorporated. You know, just part of the, the best, man, to me. Um, I had uh, my brother Malcolm come out to me his first day I literally got into the army. This is my story, how I found out about military fraternity. Um, his name was Malcolm. He wrote to me when I was at GameStop. Said he liked my leg tattoo. So I, got a, I got a Joker leg tattoo with the Joker from the first scene. Him holding when he was in the bank robbery. I got a Batman who laughs. And I also have Bane on the other side of my leg. I'll do a tattoo tour in due time. Walked up to me. It's like, you know, what he was talking about. He was talking to me about getting a GameStop membership because I was talking to the dude in the store. He told me it's worth it. He said, like, my leg tattooed. Then, boom, next thing you know, I was pretty start, you know, hitting it off. I think I noticed that he had uh, a Divine Nine bracelet on. I probably asked him about that. He asked me if I was in the military. I said, yes. He said, there's military fraternities. I looked him up. He said, do your research. I ain't influenced you to join mine, join theirs, join whoever's, but just do your research. Do your research. A lot of them did stick out. A lot of them I did think maybe so, maybe not. And then I just happened to be like, you know what? It's a reason why, you know, a brother came up to me personally and told me about the one that, you know, he's in. So I did my research on theirs, got hungry, told them to put me in the door. I haven't looked back since. Um, I know if you guys check my Facebook, if you see, uh, a lot of things uh, where I post that you'll see that um, I've joined back in November November 19th officially 2023 um, I'm, a, I'm a happy member I'm the only one on my line I earned a dope name y'all gotta see that you know you gotta just check me out I'm the last summer right baby Ooh. now I do want to let this be known. Personally, I am looking into getting like because I am away from family. I love y'all family. I want y'all to know that. Just because I'm away don't mean I don't love y'all. I know I don't communicate often. Uh, I moved away, but I have learned myself a lot more. Texting and talking hasn't been my my, my best, but it's, my personal growth has been amazing to myself. I feel I became a man. Give my people's uh my family a home. Now I'm trying to be more hands-on, work on cars, you know, stay out of the house a little bit, not saying it's wrong, but I would tell you, Texas heat is different. I've been in Las Vegas, I lived in my, I lived in Florida, Miami, at that year, feel me, the bottom, and now I live in the center of Texas. Las Vegas, you'll get that heat where hop the plane, there ain't no breeze. You know what I'm saying, you job chap. Here, ain't no shade, it's just like, 
He's just slapping you all day. You can have a breeze and still be getting slapped. In Florida, you can have a breeze, it'd be hot, and you can still be chilling. So, hey, take that, take that as you as you would and go with it. But I'm trying to work on cars now. Um, I'm looking into buying a certain car. I'm manifesting it first mentally before I, before I do it. That way, if it does happen, you know, it, it works out. It's everything going to uh, work out. Oh, okay. Bad traffic, bad traffic, bad traffic. But nonetheless, oh, 09 mic program. Let me speak about that a little bit too. All right. That program has been tremendous for me. I went up on my scores, came into the military with a 29. I finished that program with a 62. It does help you. They teach you the tips and tricks. I will be retaking a test in due time to uh, increase my score once again because I have a 108 GT score and I do want to uh, proceed in my career in the sense of maybe go officer, maybe go warrant, or any other things, I would need a 110 or better. So to put myself over that hump, I'm going to retake the test and I will be accomplishing an o or over 108 GT score. I will be getting a 110 or better. Let's believe that. Speaking of, you know, I got to manifest it. Um, ah. that's, that's, that's what I want to say. Zero Nine Mic Program. If you are interested in joining it, do it, do it, do it. Um, if there's options, I know it's like slots and things like that. But the military, for me, has been amazing. Do your research on your job before you join. Know what you want to do. If you don't know what you want to do, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you know you look into the jobs that if you want to be hands on, you know uh, mechanics. Uh, cooks, um, tankers, stuff, anything that's outside. Like, th there's a lot of options, and I want to limit it. I'm a, I am human resources, 42 Alpha, S1. My job is to take care of soldiers all day, literally, from the time you enter the military to the time you leave. You know, I know something about you or close to it. Now. Don't you cannot ask me to go, hey, do you know? No, I don't know the ins and outs of if you're still in basic and AIT, I do not know where you're going and you know stuff like that. But I will tell you is that if you are a 42 Alpha and you are in school, what you are learning, what you are doing will be the same thing you're gonna do mostly at your next duty station. So just be ready. Um, you know, everybody know you guys just anxious. I was anxious. I was ready to go. Hungry. It's like, what's next? What's next? What's next? And I'm happy I'm here, man. That's that's all I really can say. If you are a high speed, meaning that you know you're hungry, you are super army, stuff like that. I'm a high speed in the sense of I just make sure I get my job done. I show great energy and I make sure I keep everybody in good spirits. You can be the same way. Don't let nobody tell you different. Don't let nobody push you the wrong way. Keep it going. This video is long. I'm going to cut it. Upload it. Y'all watch me. I, I will be trying to go home editing more, posting more, give y'all everything that's from the past to the future. If y'all don't care for the past, let me know. Start posting the future stuff, and then maybe I'll post occasionally the old stuff. You know what I'm saying? But if you want more current, I need to give y'all a car tour. I need to give y'all a house tour and everything like that from beginning to end. So let me know. Let me know. I'm in the traffic right now. I'm going to pick up the wife. So I'm going to bump some music. MPP family, make some comments. If you're new here, subscribe, like, comment. I answer comments, trust me, I do. I literally be on my computer and if I see your stuff pop up, I'm pretty sure you can look at one of my old videos. You see, I still comment. I will comment if you hit me on social media. If you don't say like, you know, you're coming from YouTube, 
the likelihood of me responding to me, the likelihood of me responding is less likely. So just let me know you found me on YouTube, let me know you're a subscriber, and now let me know, hey, you know, I, I, I can engage with you. So I even follow you back, you know what I'm saying? I'm not nobody yet. I do plan to be somebody, but I am Mr. Fleming. <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all keep a smile on your face. Stay happy. Stay blessed. You know, just stay, stay positive. Keep doing good. Trust, but verify. Peace.